What's up guys and welcome back. Good to see your faces. I myself look like I come from an alternate future and I might may or may not be a police officer uh, in a not too distant post-apocalyptic world. Kind of like Blade Runner meets a uh, homeless guy. I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, look at this. This is something that I bought. Yeah, you might be wondering what it is. <laughs> You're not alone. I don't know why I bought this, but it's a thing. This was handcrafted in Japan by the Karakori Creation Group, the same group, uh, the, you know, the recent puzzle they did, the foot puzzle and all that type of stuff. So they made this thing, this is like a business card holder. I don't know why I'm showing this, it's not a puzzle, it's kind of just a thing. I don't know why I bought it either, but here's how it works. Uh, you got a little goat, see this little goat? And you pull the drawer and the goat grabs the business card then he just dumps it off into the hole, uh, which to, you'll never see it again. So if you're ever uh, if you're ever over encumbered by the amount of business cards given to you, you just you put them here. The goat collects it, say no more, and the goat will drop it into the. Uh... Why did I buy this? I don't know. This has nothing to do with the video. Nothing. Let's get let's get back in the office. Let's go. Hope you enjoyed that intro of me purchasing random stuff at 3 a.m. that I shouldn't. It's pretty cool. I mean, pretty cool. Who, I don't, I'm never gonna use it in my life, but I thought you'd enjoy it. I bought it, so I was like, I may as well show it off in a video and get made fun of in the comments. Except before we do that, uh, sometimes these videos get sponsored, and today it did. Sponsors help pay for this content, which is great. Uh, so let's get into the ad. This video is brought to you by Honey. For those of you who don't know, Honey is a free shopping tool that automatically searches the internet for the best promo codes every time you buy something online. It works with over 30,000 websites. I've used it on sites like shopnicekicks.com. I've used it on Ray-Ban. Even recently on shopnicekicks.com, I, you know, I'm a sneaker guy. I like to collect sneakers. So I hit these websites up and I just so happen to save $40 on a purchase of some Yeezys, which is pretty cool. I mean, otherwise I would have not saved any money whatsoever. It literally only takes two clicks to install, which is super easy. All you gotta do is go to joinhoney.com slash Chris Ramsey or click the link below, up to you. Thanks to creators like me who are shutting this out and thanks to Honey who are sponsoring these videos, people are saving on average about 30 bucks, which is crazy. There's no reason you shouldn't add Honey to your browser. Honestly, um, this is the easiest ad read I've ever had to do. It's two clicks to install and it saves you money. That's all you need to know. So again, click the link below in the description uh, to add this extension or go to joinhoney.com slash Chris Ramsey. Back to the vi back to the puzzle, let's go. Today guys, we're looking at the Berg lock. Fix this, I feel like I'm crouching and I shouldn't be. This is my home, I am, a, I am the man in charge. You camera will cater to my needs. I won't slouch any longer. The Berg lock is, I, I'm, Presume this thing is 3D printed. I don't know because I, do, I don't have a 3D printer, so I couldn't tell you, but it, it looks 3D printed. This is a level nine lock, which makes it extremely difficult. The same guys who created this also created, I think, the swing lock, which are also known for their difficulty. This little sort of orangey, plasticky, textury, weird thing comes with two little keys and you have to unlock the lock, pretty simple. These things aren't cheap, which is what intrigued me the most. They retailed about 300 bucks a pop. If this thing were probably like $20, in all honesty, I would have probably not purchased it. But because it was 300, I was like, there's gotta be something extra to this. I mean, for sure there has to be something extra to this. Like, I mean, for someone to charge $300 for like a little lock, it has to be kind of special. So I thought I'd share it with you guys today. Without further ado, let's get into solving the bird lock. All right, so this is the Berg lock, uh, level nine, so grueling, very difficult. The only way to open this is by using these keys and to rotate them gently, apparently. So here we go. The two keys, by the way, look like this. They're a bit different. They have like different cutouts in the end. This looks to be 3D printed. Maybe why it's so expensive, I don't know. As you can see in the hole there, I have a key here that would fit perfectly into that hole. Okay, oh. turns and it stops, maybe the other way. Like, watch, it goes back. What about this side? So that key doesn't fit in there, but what I see is that there's three, looks like to, like three compartments where, where a key can go in, so I probably have to rotate um, this in a certain direction. Okay. 
Hmm. I don't understand how this is so difficult. Like, I mean, the key goes in here, but it doesn't turn all the way, and I don't know how to make it turn all the way. Obviously, this affects something, because if you look at the top here, kind of moves when they do that. That's literally the only way that it would go in. What if I put this one in here? Oh, okay, so I can put this one in, hold that, hold on, hold on. And now this one. Maybe that's it. Hmm. Weird. Wait, what? Now it fits. That didn't fit in there before. <gasps> What's happening? What the hell just happened to this puzzle? Okay, all right, we're getting somewhere. If I push in and turn. Okay, I can't push it down. Maybe if I turn it from this side. Now I can turn it down. Unturn it on the other side. Wait, what? Push in, turn, push down. Turn back, push up. No, doesn't do anything. Ba -da -bum -ba -bum -bum. Is that it? Did I solve it? Or do I have to unlock this thing? No, looks like I solved it. Wow, look at that. Look at the mechanics in there. To think it's all like 3D printed is pretty crazy. So that was grueling apparently. Let's see if we can lock it back up. And locked up. Level nine. Eh, I would say probably level eight, seven, maybe max. Maybe I just got lucky. Uh, not too difficult. All right. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. That wraps it up. That was the Berg lock puzzle. Uh, not gonna lie, a little bit lackluster. I, I found it to be a little easier. And one thing I might, one thing I can say though, is that the inside of this lock is super intriguing and intricate. And I think they put a lot of work in. I don't know how hard it is to 3D print something. So I can't say that the price was justified. I mean, looking at handcrafted items uh, from Karakuri that are made in wood, even, even that little playing card holder thing, which retails at about $400. So not too far off, you're getting a beautiful handcrafted thing versus like a plastic 3D printed thing. So kind of disappointed with the quality of it for the price. However, it is a fun lock and it does look kind of cool on the inside. Uh, you decide, let me know in the comments what you thought. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Do like this video if you did enjoy the content. Subscribe if you're still enjoying the content right now and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.